But somehow in the church, we believe that we should never address things. The world will try to muzzle you. I put on my Instagram post and this girl was like, oh, you shouldn't speak on Noel Jones. Girl, if you don't get your. See, I ain't prayed. I prayed earlier. But if you don't get yourself off my page, don't ever, don't ever fix your lips on my platform to tell me what I should not. Don't ever fix your raggedy, dusty lips to, to, to formulate a sentence to tell me what I should and should not speak on. I get my mar marching orders from the most high. All right. I will not be muzzled. I will not be controlled. I will not. I will not. So don't ever fix your keyboard your fingers all right because you won't say it to my face anyway you know what i mean my number is all on the website my email address is all on the website but don't be leaving no raggedy dusty comment do you hear me because all it's gonna do is get deleted but don't ever fix your keyboard warrior fingers to try to tell me what i should and should not talk about because one thing about it and two things for sure i'm gonna do what my father has told me to do it in a tasteful way it won't be disgraceful it will be done and excellence in all that I do. So if you ever think that I'm going to sit up here and talk about somebody uh, besides you keyboard warriors, a, a man or woman of God in a disrespectful manner, I won't do that to you. So as long as you come at me right, won't start none, won't be none. Do you understand that? I don't I mind the business that pays me. I don't ever. It is a, such a sense of entitlement in this in this world that we live in. I never go on anybody else's platform telling them my opinion and what they should and should not do but i will say it on mine do you hear me hallelujah but we live in such a world where people because they can sit behind a computer and they feel so emboldened they feel so emboldened and they be the biggest cowards in real life don't you understand that you keyboard coward coward warrior that's what you are that's what you are all right but we live in a world where people will try to muzzle you you can't speak on things only god can judge me even the pastors can't speak on sin the members can't speak on sin no one can speak on anything and people just continue to do as thou wills all right we live in a society even in the four wall church they want to coddle, pretend, sweep things under the rug, turn a blind eye, hush your mouth, see no evil, hear no evil, say no evil, and you are going to be judged for enabling. All right. So I repent for enabling people. I repent for not speaking up. I repent against that Ahab spirit, uh, baby girl. Baby girl was in my comments. You got the right one today. You got the right one, baby. Do you understand me? First Thessalonians 5 and 22 says, abstain from all appearance as evil and the very god of peace sanctify you holy and i pray your i pray god your whole spirit and your soul and your body be preserved blameless into the coming of our lord jesus christ faithful is he that called you and who will also do it so we are to abstain from the very appearance as evil that's why a lot of times i don't speak to men a lot of times all right and if i do my husband knows about it do you understand me because i try to abstain i'm not perfect no nobody's perfect bishop no nobody is perfect. none of us are perfect but that is not an excuse all right that is not an excuse we can't keep using that all right we can't keep using that all right but the church has this shut your mouth slave mentality when you speak up against foolishness and fakery do you hear me you shouldn't speak on this i don't speak on unbelievers too much do you understand me i speak to the ecclesia this is why spiritual abuse is so rampant in the four wall church and you know what it's typically women Women are some of the most biggest enablers you will ever see. And it's the same when a when a child gets molested, they will say nothing, they will cover it up. It's the same men and women that will see wrong and say nothing. All right. All right. This is the, the main the mentality that has overtaken the world and has overtaken the four wall church. All right. So you weak, docile, comforting, enabling, narc sympathizers can get off my page and off my channel. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Do you hear me? Goodbye.
the buy. You are the same people that see things and say nothing. And you are the reason why the four wall church is in the state that it is in. So if you have nothing to say about fornication, <laughs> if you have nothing to say about idolatry, if you have nothing to say about sin, all right, continue to say nothing when I speak on it. Do you hear me? These are the same people that say nothing, all right, but have so much to say about people when they call it out. You are the problem, not me. Do you hear me? These are the same people that cover up and conceal abuse in the church. They love God more than they, they love man. They love men more than they love God and righteousness. So let that sizzle in your spirit. We have gotten to such a state that when we speak up for righteousness and, and, uh, and, and are convicted, all right, uh, people are, are will point the finger more at the one that is calling it out more than the person who is doing the sin. Make that make sense. Make 